Shamira Wilson works full-time and attends graduate school. She's studying for her master's degree in psychology. She's also a single mom to 12-year-old Jayla. Making ends meet is difficult, but she's getting it done. I know exactly how my budget is, and I make sure I don't spend over that amount. I save at least uh, 40 to 50 percent of my um, weekly paycheck. I um, can save up enough to not be worried about um, how I'm going to pay my rent, how I'm going to pay my bills. For everyday New Yorkers like Shamira, it's getting more and more expensive to live in the city. Everything like transportation, groceries, um, rent, um, just everything is just so expensive. Shamira's situation is not unique. In fact, 600,000 New Yorkers are just like Shamira, working and on no public assistance but at the poverty line. Irene Liu is a policy analyst with Community Service Society, the organization that advocates for low-income city residents and compiles the Unheard Third, an annual scientific survey that tracks the hardships of New York's low-income population. We need to create a pipeline to higher paying jobs for low-income New Yorkers. The three main areas of hardship, paying for food, health care, and housing. And they're you know, severely rent burdened, and that means paying more than half of their incomes in rent. For low-income New Yorkers, they have to decide, well, do I skip lunch for a week in order to pay the rent? Shamira has been saving for a down payment to purchase a home for her and her daughter. She knows she'll get there, but it's taking time. Even to rent, to rent sometimes can be thousands just for a month's rent. So, of course, buying is going to be 10 times that amount. It, it is very hard. At times, it may feel like society is punishing low-income families with day-to-day -day difficulties, from ATM fees to the cost of lunch to the price of a Metro card fare. One in four low-income New Yorkers could not afford the cost of riding our city subways and buses. Some of the key findings of the unheard third, 49% of near poor working families have at least one housing hardship, such as falling behind on rent or had utilities turned off. And 45% of working families experience at least one health-related hardship, such as being without health insurance or unable to fill a needed prescription. Then there is the financial insecurity. Many low-income working families don't even have $500 in emergency savings for an unexpected expense like an emergency room bill. The fear is the long-term repercussions of people leaving as it becomes increasingly unaffordable for many New Yorkers to stay. For Shamira, she's committed to building a life here, and as difficult as it may be, she says you are not your circumstances, and she draws her inspiration from her daughter. I don't want her to worry about how much something is. I don't want her to, to have that concern, and this is why I'm doing everything I'm doing. Shirley Chan picks 11 News.